Aaron Turner here, and I'm lucky enough to be in Teen on this beautiful day to find out what goes into the development and testing of skis. Once it's been decided that they want to evolve and change an existing ski or develop one from scratch, they can start to make a prototype. Then the real work starts, and that's what I'm looking at today. The first thing that will happen is the skis are prepared in the factory. They'll be numbered up, so when the skiers get on the snow, each one knows exactly which ski they've got on their feet. They'll ski on the snow, get a feel for the ski, but once they've found a ski that works, that will then be going into a small series of six pairs, one for the snow, and the other ones will be exploded in the factory. If the testers are happy and they give it the green light, and the factory's happy and give it the green light, then that model can go into full production. Let's talk about numbers slightly, because this is crazy. They will get through, for Dina Star alone, 1,000, 1,200 pairs of ski every year. But it's a real question of trial and error. They change the material, if the prototype's not feeling good, they'll go back to the factory, change small amounts of what's inside the ski, and then start that process again. What are the testers looking for? Edge grip, stability, and just the feel and the touch of the ski on the snow. They can use pretty much two prototypes that might be slightly different and compare them next to each other. Do a run on one and then change skis and do another one. Everything's got to be noted so they know exactly which is the prototype that skis the best. Something that's really come across and very apparent to me is the passion and dedication these guys have. If something's not right, they'll go back to the drawing board and start that process again to ensure that the product is completely right and as good as it can be. And these guys love their job. I mean, let's face it, who wouldn't? 